if you would go ahead and pass out index cards, everybody should have an index card when I get to the body of the speech. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. When you find the fun, snap, the job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake. A lark, a spree, it's very clear to see. That my singing proudness is mostly in my own mind and has no basis in reality. <laughs> but singing the opening to A Spoonful of Sugar brings me to my topic today, which is how do we get things done? When I was a kid, when I was a teenager, when I was a young adult, I had an awful problem with procrastination. I had all these things that I wanted to do that I needed to do that had to be done, but they never got accomplished. So over the years, I've tried many different systems to get things done. I've had to-do lists. I used the Covey system with a daily planner and a weekly planner and the most important things and the... I've even tried some web-based systems. The one that I recommend most is rememberthemilk.com, which will email you a task and reminders on a task, but I don't use that either because I found an even simpler system. It's simple. It's cheap. It is very, very flexible. What is it? It's an index card. Mm -hmm. I want you to take your index card and fold it in half. Now I want you to fold it again. The speech should really be the two-fold path. <laughs> but we end up with eight squares in our index card, front and back. I want you to look at the back, top right corner, bring out your pen, and write this down. Where will I be? Then a colon, and underneath that, write in three years, five years, ten years. But we're not done yet with this square. Here in the open area, write the top 20%. Top 20%. What open area? If you don't have an open area, use another part, a different square. Write top 20% at the top. These two principles are focuses for weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly goals. Anytime you have a moment, you're waiting in line at the grocery store, you stop at a stoplight. I'm on the train to Dart every morning and I pull out my index card and I think about where will I be in three years, or five years, ten years? The studies show that most of us overestimate what we can do in one year, but underestimate what we can accomplish in ten years. Ten years is a major, major shift. The other part of this, the top 20%, is a reminder of the Pardo Principle, which is 80% of our results comes from 20% of our efforts. Most of what we do every day is just busy work. It doesn't accomplish anything meaningful in a long range perspective. So you need to be focusing on your top 20%. Now, on the other half of the back part of your index card, write out some long term goals that you have for yourself. I want to learn Spanish. I want to go back to school and get a graduate degree. I want to learn how to scuba. Anything that takes more than a day, more than an hour, more than a month. Long-term goals. On the back? On the back, on the left-hand side, anywhere where you have open space. This is the flexible part. You can designate any category you want to any square on either side. I'm just suggesting things that I use for myself. So I have these big reminders, where am I going to be, and top 20%. So other things that I want to keep focused on, like one thing I heard in the speaking seminar, don't look for speeches, 
look for clients. Now, on the flip side, the line side, this is your daily to-do list. Pick up milk. Call George Crawford and invite to drive him into the Toastmasters one morning. Things that require instantaneous results. But you have to remember to do it. You have to remember to go to the grocery store to pick up the milk. You have to remember to look up George's phone number, pick up the phone, and give him a call one afternoon when he's sitting around watching Oprah. Oh, wait. She's on rerun, so it's late afternoon. So here you have the opportunity of taking your weekly goals and writing a subtask for a weekly goal on the front, on the to be done side of your list. You want to learn Spanish. So this week, I'm going to focus an hour every day on vocabulary words. So you write that on your front side every day, one hour, make a check mark as you complete it. Now you're going to end up with more things than you can do in one day on the line side of your issue. So on the ones that you decide that have to be done today, I write a big A and a circle to mean accomplish this today. If you don't accomplish then, at the end of the week when you make a new index card, write a little two on front to indicate that this is the second time it's showed up or the third time. It shows up four times and you still haven't do it. You have to ask yourself, is it really important? Does it need to be done by me? Is something blocking me from accomplishing this task? So there it is, index cards can be a quick, easy way to turn your to-do list into a I got it done list. Because the most important thing about task accomplishment is for you to consider, where am I gonna finish? I can do busy work every single day, but never end up making the accomplishment of my big dreams and my big goals. Thank you, Mr.